Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. So today's video is going to be basically testing graphics cards uh, that have been given to me. Some that may work, some that may not work. Maybe they don't, maybe none of them work. So we're going to change it up with a test bed that I got here. And we're going to try them all out and see what happens. And if I can't get them working, the next step is uh, I'm probably going to tear them apart and we'll have a look and see what's inside them in case people are curious and uh, also to see if it's possible to fix them. Uh, a couple of them are really dirty so it's possible they just need to be cleaned. So stay tuned. Here we go. Okay so we're going to have a look at these three graphics cards. We have a GTX 980 Ti, which is, I can get that working, will be a really nice. We have a GTX 770 and a GTX uh, 960. So I'm going to take out the AMD card. We're just using the generic Windows uh, graphics driver, but I will install because these are all NVIDIA. I'm going to install a specific driver for NVIDIA onto this system here uh, so that we can make sure that it's not a driver issue. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this off and we'll go and we'll start, I think, with the uh, GTX 960, which is the little tiny one here, and see what happens. Okay, so I've got our um, GTX 960 in there. Got the power, just one uh, six pin for the PCIe, uh, HDMI for the TV. Uh, eventually, I'll buy myself a monitor, but anyway, that'll work for now. So we're going to fire it up, see what happens. So here we go. And I'll have to switch inputs as well. Hopefully it'll recognize it right away and switch automatically. If it doesn't, I will do that. So obviously the, the fan is working, it's powered on. One of the beauty of this is this is working. So if you're all like this, it's gonna be a pretty short video. So anyhow, I guess. Oh, and of course it's updating Windows. Yay. Okay, so it's updating Windows, so obviously if it wasn't working, you wouldn't have a picture right now. But we have to go beyond just whether we get a picture. The next thing we have to determine is uh, what happens when we put it on a uh, stress test and see what it can withstand. And uh, we'll go from there. It could be just the person had a bad driver. Okay, so our system's up and running. Our graphics card is obviously running. Okay, we're going to see if we can update the driver. Right now, the AMD drivers are in there. I'm not too worried about that because it's. I can uninstall that uh, and we'll just put the NVIDIA drivers on there. So let's go ahead and do that and we'll come back. Okay, so I've done a couple things. I've loaded the NVIDIA drivers on here and I've got ADA64 Extreme, the trial version, um, just because I just want to use it for one little thing. Um, and I'm going to stress the graphics card for a few minutes and see if it uh, craps out or if it keeps on going or what happens. Because um, if it works through this, then obviously the issue the other person was having was a driver issue. Or perhaps something on the motherboard, who knows. In any case, right now it's working, it seems to be perfectly fine. Let's see what happens when we do this. So our test has been running for three minutes so far. I just want to point out um, our temperatures. I'm just going to zoom in so you can see that. Okay, so 40 degrees, 37. So it's, it's floating around a little bit up here between 38 and a low of 27. Uh, it did hit 40 at one point. So, and it is 100% uh, utilization, okay? You just This is just for the CPU, so don't pay attention to that. But the graphics card is being stressed right here and we'll see what uh, the end result is but looking good so far or well, I think we're going to move on to the uh, GTX 770 next okay so this is a, a success and the beauty part is he doesn't want the card back so I just gained a GTX uh, 960 Okay, so our second graphics card that we're testing is the GTX 770. Requires a little bit more power. You got a 6 pin and an 8 pin for that. And uh, you can see it's kind of dusty on the inside. Um, the dirt is trapped on the inside of that. So 
If it doesn't work, that might be something we'll look at if we decide to tear it down. So let's fire this one up and see what happens. Wow, this is going to be a short video. <laughs> These are all told to me that they did not work. Verified, couldn't get them working, nothing was working right. So I'm not sure what people were doing, but this works. Absolutely works. And there we go, we got our screen. So we're going to repeat the same test. We've already downloaded GeForce Experience and updated the drivers. To the most current one uh, we're going to check it with you to extreme again and we'll see what happens so before i run this stress, uh, stress test i thought i uh, would try something a little different i'm going to do the actual uh, gpu benchmark on this one and see what happens because i mean if it withstands that it's probably going to be okay so we'll do that and uh, we'll run the other test as well just to see uh, i am quite surprised but uh, if I get as lucky with a GTX 980 Ti, I've uh, scored three really good graphics cards. So you can see it's, it's giving you here. Let me zoom in on this. Okay, so it's doing its uh, benchmarking. And you can see it's got memory writes, floppy. Now it's uh, not going to give you the single precision flops because it's using the trial version. Double precisions, 117.4, 24-bit, 32-bit, 116.5, 64-bit, 29.19, and so on and so forth. AES-256, SHA-1 hash. Some of these I don't know what they are, so if you know what they are, put them in the comments and let me know. Um, single precision Julia, I'm not sure exactly what that stands for. So, bottom line, it's going to go through and do this, and we're going to do the stress test, too, just to see what happens. So, 51 frames per second on a test. So, that's pretty significant for a graphics card that's quite old. And you know what? That's where I kind of fall out with the pricing on graphics cards today. They're just too high. They're just incredibly high. That's why you don't see me doing very many... Uh, anything with graphics cards just getting my hands on them and even the older ones are hard to get a hold of but they work almost as well as the newer ones in fact if you put them side by side you'd be amazed at the difference maybe i'll do that for one of the other videos so anyway let's do the stress test all right so we're testing this one now with ada 64 extreme trial version again of course and uh, we're gonna let it run for another uh, seven to ten minutes and see what happens right now i can see uh, it's maintaining a low temperature of 27 and it's sitting 48 49 degrees so we'll keep an eye on it and we'll see what happens okay so this one on the testing did shut down so as soon as i went to stress test it it failed i'm not sure why or what but we have no picture no nothing on the screen so um, we'll have to come back for that. So we're going to tear this one apart. So now we're going to move on to the uh, GTX 980 Ti. Now I know you see it running in the background. That's a separate computer because I have them on a switch. So I have two different, one computer that's always running and then this one here. So in case you're wondering about that. Okay, so we got our GTX 980 Ti in there. We're going to power it on and let's see what happens. Oh. Okay, that took a couple seconds, but it's coming up. Uh, you can see the tearing and everything on the screen. See those little white lines? So you can tell right now, right off the bat, something is, uh, something's not right. But we do have a screen. We do have everything up here. Uh, I expect this one will probably fail as well. But let's, uh, let's uh, go through and do some tests and see what happens. Okay, so I have ADA64 Extreme up again. And let's start. So hopefully, uh, <laughs> hopefully this one will keep on working. But I mean, with those tearing and stuff, uh, that's enough to um, annoy most people. And especially if you're playing games, you don't want tearing like that on your screen. So some people might say, hey, it's acceptable. 
and we'll just use it but uh, I really wouldn't recommend that so again we're gonna let this run uh, five to seven minutes I'm gonna pause it if it fails I'll go back and uh, live and uh, let you know what happened the temperatures by the way are 28 as a low and up to 49 so far as a high okay so it did uh, drop it did fail um, not exactly sure what or why um, but we're going to tear it apart and we're going to find out because it did all that white pixelation across the screen and you can't you can't do things like that it would be ill-advised to use a graphics card that's going to do that it's uh it's going to cost uh, cause you a lot of frustration okay so taking apart a graphics card i am no expert make no mistake about it i have no intentions of necessarily putting this thing back together <laughs> or anything like that okay we're just proving that we can put a graphics card in and see how it fails and see what happens when it fails and sometimes it's just a driver which we salvaged one graphics card and these ones it's something else so we're going to open it up we're going to have a look at it and see if we can spot something if i can maybe i'll try and put it back together but right now i'm not sure if that's going to happen so you can see there are multiple screws okay holding this back plate on so we're going to have to take that all off, loosen them all off. I'm going to keep them aside just uh, in case I do find something that's like really stands out uh, and see if I can fix it. So the biggest thing here is I'm looking for any, um, any spots on here that look like they were burnt out or shorted or anything like that, brownouts or whatever. I don't even know exactly what I'm looking for, but... Hey, that's what playing around and having fun's all about, right? So I'm going to take them all off and I'll show you the next step. Okay, all the screws are out. There's even a couple here and there's a couple on the front here too that you have to take out. Oh, sorry. So I think we have to take these off too. So I'll get a pair of pliers and I'll take those off. Okay, so once I loosen those off, this should come right off yep there's our bracket basically and now let's see how difficult this is to remove okay after looking at it for a couple more seconds realized it didn't have to take those other screws out if you lift it from the back it comes out so let's have a look at what we got here so we've got a little connector here so be careful and just well i guess we don't have to be careful but you're going to take that out okay you got another one on the other side now if you were taking this out for the purpose of uh, I don't know water cooling it or something of that nature then you want to be pretty careful so having our first look at this board um, I'm not seeing anything readily apparent nothing stands out as having that could be wrong now here's an interesting point if you're water cooling this this is the only part you need all right this whole part here is just your cooler okay your fan all that kind of good stuff so all of that gets replaced with what you put on top of that okay so just to I might as well learn something from it I guess so in case anybody's wondering these here are the thermal pads okay those thermal pads when this is on okay that's it touches all the vital parts to keep it cool and of course this is our thermal paste which is on here quite a lot actually but uh, anyhow so I mean technically we don't need this at all if I was to save just this part if it was salvageable we could uh, water cool it and then see if it worked but given that it's a bit of an older card um, I don't know if I'm going to do that, but I may order the part and just give it a try. Who knows? That'll be, if I do, it'll be in a video and we'll see if I can get this thing back together. Okay, so there is one thing I did notice. This is on top of the uh, little chip.
this should be over here. Okay, so that thermal pad sits on top of absolutely nothing. And I'm guessing this should be here. Now, whether that would make enough difference to cause the card to fail, I don't know. But it is interesting to see. The other thing we can learn from this, these thermal pads were sitting on these three, I don't know if they're called transistors or what they're called, these three chips, I guess you'd call them, and these three here. So when that's on, these three are sitting here, these three are sitting here. So if you were to replace them, that's what you would do. Um, so yeah, that's all there is to it. Um, I cannot identify anything that I can see that would tell me that as to why it failed. I mean, we could reapply thermal paste, put everything back together, but I really don't think there would be a point to it, as I don't think it would make a difference. I would be really interested if I could get a cooling kit to put it on top of this one here, and then try it and see what happens. And of course, replacing all our thermal pads. Um, yeah, that may be a video for down the road, because this one's already too long. Okay, so we're going to do uh, the same thing for the GTX 980 Ti. I'm just going to cut to the chase and show you what it looks like on the inside. It's going to look very much the exact same thing. But then we'll look and see if we can see any broken or uh, loose solders or blown transistors or anything like that. Okay, so the 980 was a little bit harder to take apart. So it took a little bit more work to get the screws out, but that's it. I've gone through everything again, and I can't identify anything that uh, jumps out at me or looks that I could say, oh, look, that's broken, or the solders came off, or the transistor is bul bulged, or, or anything like that. Now, like I said, I'm no expert on this stuff, so this is my first uh, delving into this and having a look at it, so... Basically, what we can learn from it is this part can come off. If you got a water cooler uh, you want to put on there, it's not that difficult. It, it takes a little bit of effort, but overall, not that bad. All right, everybody. So basically, what did we learn from this? We learned it's not that hard to take them apart. Um, damage that obviously is there. It's pretty minor, but whatever it is, it's causing enough to make them shut down as soon as you you stress them. Except we got lucky with a 960 and that one works, even through a stress test. Um, if anything uh, goes wrong down the road, uh, I'll do an update and uh, let you know. But right now, it looks like everything is good to go. Um, I'd taken one apart, I think, once before, but I'm not really sure if I showed it on camera. Um, but it's interesting to see that that thin little film piece or the board is uh, all that's really required when you do the water cooling now i've never done that but I'm, i might just order the part and give it a go why not i got nothing to lose it don't work anyway so if i put it on there and it still doesn't work at least i've learned something from doing it which is all this is really about so anyway if you find this interesting you thought it was kind of not that bad um, give me a like. If you don't, well, you know what to do. If you're new here, think about subscribing. Check out my other videos. They're a little bit more on key and more on point to uh, attack channel. Um, but I just wanted to do something different and uh, show you. Um, well, trust, trust me, these screws are hard to get out. It's a lot more effort than than, than you might think. Um, so anyway, hit that bell for future notifications. Um, and thanks for watching.